honestly think it's gonna be one day at a time. Um, and I say that because, you know, there's days where I, I get headaches and stuff, and days where I feel fine. So we're just gonna ease into it, you know, like my professors know that uh, I'm gonna take my time to back to school and work my way back. So uh, football-wise, just one day, we'll reconvene in a couple months and go from there. You say one day at a time. It's been, what, five days now? I mean, it's like, can you believe that you're at football field five days every day? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty crazy, you know, uh, everybody's got a plan for what's going to happen in their life, and you know, I'm just fortunate, and uh, kind of a miracle to have being adopted and coming here, and having everything that's happened to me, I think it's really put life in perspective for me, and what, how many people I've touched, and what I've done to other people to inspire them to, you know, go through me or look up to me, so. Coach told us on Monday he was on a first-name basis with all the nurses at the hospital. What did, it mean? <laughs> what did it mean to you to have him there so frequently like that? Oh, it, it just shows what kind of coach he is, you know. It's not it's not just about football, but it's about um, getting another players, you know, individually and getting to have that bond with him. And so having been there and been a lot and uh, knowing I could call him, you know, when I had my after my seizures at 4 o'clock in the morning he answered, you know, that shows a long way because not, not a lot of coaches would do that. So for him to do that, um, it's been great. Good that you went. I mean, all I could think of looking at your Twitter feed was, man, it, it's it's kind of nice that you went to school here yeah. because you had the love from the Lake Hill people, you had the love from the Sherwood people, and, and the love from the PSU people. I mean, did you feel it from everywhere? Yeah, I did. You know, that's the biggest thing. Um, people reaching out to me, ex-players, you know, ex-NFL um, players and some Oregon State players. So um, it just shows what kind of impact I've had you know, throughout my game and what I've done. And so if I can keep doing that, I'm doing something. Like I said, it's just it's about being patient. You know, I, I told these guys, you know, just have fun. Keep working hard, keep doing everything you need to do. And I think it just shows that, you know, life is not really going to be there every day, you know. So we'll keep working hard and keep busting your butt. Is that the biggest lesson you learned? I mean, it's such a cliche, yeah. but when you go through it, it's really not a cliche anymore. It's real. Yeah, it, yeah, it, it's real. It's legit. It's 100% proof. And if, if they don't see it, then, you know, hopefully I can tell them and talk to them about it. Because, like I said, one day I'm out here coming back from my Achilles, you know, running hard, doing everything I'm doing. And then next, I'm in the OH, OHSU, you know, having seizures. So this shows right there that, you know, just do everything you can, work your butt off, and good things will happen to you.